the remaining street improvement projects approved in 2012. They stopped progress after it was revealed the city repaved streets not originally authorized by council. ABC 7 Dr. Rodriguez is live with the details. Ashley. Estella, some council members are frustrated over the process of getting these streets done and the pace they're getting done at. For example, since voters approved 90 projects in 2012, only one is done, 11 are under construction and in the design phase, and $18 million was lost while the city worked on other projects not included in the original plan. Remember, three years ago, $210 million was approved for street improvements. City Council voted on which streets would get repaved based on studies that determined which streets needed it most. But late last year, it came to light Romero's district, streets that weren't on that list. They got repaved first, and now council members are frustrated. These additions are making progress even slower. Listen to the back and forth between the city manager and Rep. Claudia Ordaz. We're going back to practices that we got rid of back in 2004, where we're now politicizing the process, where we, get, where we let certain representatives make decisions on what streets they want to get fixed, even though they, they were never on the list to begin with, without council approval. And you need to take responsibility for that. You always, you always pass the buck, but here you cannot, because this happened under your watch. It's a pattern of behavior right here with you, Mr. Gonzalez. It's either, it's either the previous administration's fault or it's council's fault. But when are you going to start taking responsibility for this happening? You won't. What do y'all want to have in public? Come here. She's just asking for answers. She just wants a straight answer. That's all all of us want. We just want straight answers. Eventually, council approved letting the project continue, authorizing just under $30 million to be spent on improvements this fiscal year. They also voted to raise the cap payment to Ross Fisher. That's the independent investigator reviewing the recent search for a new financial advisor. It went from $25,000 to no more than $50,000. Estella. A very contentious day out there. Thank yeah, you very it was. Much. Thank you very much.